Hi there everyone, uh, my name is Kikoff and I'm the last remaining dinosaur stand-up comedian. Yep, it's true, <laughs> except for me we are now totally extinct. I guess it was because so many nightclubs uh, closed because of the Ice Age, if you know what I mean. There's nothing more chilling to an audience than five million years of 50 below zero temperatures. So, oh, even when you're hot, you're cold. So people ask me if I'm from Jurassic Park. Actually, it's Jurassic Trailer Park. So here I am on the internet, telling jokes and promoting myself on MySpace. You know. Sensitive young dinosaur who represents the last of his gene pool, wants to start his own hard rock band, has problems with cell phones, new fingers. Scientists say that birds evolved from dinosaurs, and you know, that could be true. Hardly a day went by in the old days when I didn't see five or maybe even ten pterodactyls sitting on a telephone wire. It kind of gave a scary twist to that expression, bombs away, if you know what I mean. I tell you, if a pterodactyl nailed you, baby, you knew it. And, you know, some jokes have been around a lot longer than people realize. There are some jokes that are millions of years old. For example, did you hear the one about the Triceratops that went into the bar to get a drink? The bartender goes, hey, buddy, why the long face? In fact, that's where the expression, <laughs> hornier than a Triceratops, came from. Now, it's a little known fact that the bigger the dinosaur, the better the sense of humor even with our small brains and our cold blood, we were pretty good at jokes. In fact, I'll never forget the day that I ran into a brontosaurus who was a non-stop joke machine. He was so nuts, they'd call him the Joker of the La Brea Tar Pits. And he'd have them laughing so hard they'd fall down and disappear right into the tar. Well, that's one way of killing the audience, I guess. <laughs> so, so I have to run, remember, Whenever you go to fill up the tank in your car, some dinosaur like me was passing your gas. That's it for me. You've been a great audience. <laughs> All right. Try not to destroy yourselves, okay? So have a good night. Bye-bye.